Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I have something interesting. This is the Nanocam 3D MK1. This is the 3D camera from the folks who make the Nerd 3D Cam. And they are from the company called The Missing Gear. So this is Nanocam 3D MK1, which I have over here. And before that, they have the famous Nerdcam 3D, which is bigger and very popular. But unfortunately, the missing gear company is winding up their business. So this camera I have is going to be one of the last pieces available from getfpv.com. All right, I've decided to mount the 3D cam on the Flex RC Hour. Here the camera is removed and that will make way for the 3D camera. But first let's 3D print a case for this camera because it is exposed and we don't want to damage it in a crash. Alright, here are the parts. Basically, this is the front panel and the camera will go in like so. And this is just a lid to cover the back part. To secure the camera inside, I will put some hot glue and to secure the lid at the back, I will use some CA. And basically, you notice the clips here. These are for securing the entire case to the Frax RC. And I insert screws here to secure it. Alright, the 3D stereoscopic RC Flex Hour is completed. And this is how it looks like. I changed my mind about using bolts and nuts. Instead, I just use hot glue generously. And it's a lot lighter than bolts and nuts anyway. And it held up pretty strongly. And also I've done up the wires. So basically I took off that CMOS camera and hook up the yellow, red and black to the 3D camera here. Now time to test it. I'm using a 2S LiPo pack, this is 450mAh and notice I have to shift the battery way to the back in order to balance the center of gravity. Alright, let's test it. Wow, sweet, it's working. Look at that. So this is side-by-side -side 3D. So it doesn't need any post-processing to um, split the video, you know, the double image video into left and right. Which means that we could just directly record this video right off the bat using a DVR, which is great. And the other thing is that with side-by-side -side 3D video, if you could output the video to a mobile phone, you can you could slot your mobile phone into one of those um, VR box and then just put it on like a video visor and you could fly FPV and 3D stereoscopic using that uh, phone in a box kind of solution. Well, the slides in the video are kind of strange because I used the Pololu 5 volt step down regulator which is supposed to provide very clean output voltage at 5 volts. So it's kind of annoying to still see lines in the video when I spool up the models. But after messing around with the wirings here, I managed to solve the problem. Initially, I have both the red and black connected to the Pololu regulator. So red goes to the output, which is fine and the black one goes to the common ground on the Pololu and that appears to be the problem. Uh, apparently the Pololu has only one ground which is for input and output so there's some kind of interference going through the ground since it's a common ground on that regulator. So what I've done here is instead of having this black wire um, connected to the Pololu regulator, I have it connected to the VTX ground. So most VTX will have output for the camera like this, red, yellow and black. So instead of connecting the ground for the camera to the Pololu regulator, which is supposed to be clean but it isn't, I have 
this black wire connected to the ground output from the VTX instead. Well, with this configuration here, what happens is that the red power line is cleaned by the regulator, the Palulu regulator, and the black power line is cleaned by the VTX ground output. And that basically gives me a very clear video. Let me show you. Alright, enough talking, let's get this thing out and fly it.